Hey everyone, and today we have some exciting news for Nintendo Switch. Rockstar Games is bringing one of their big AAA games to Nintendo Switch. It's not Grand Theft Auto V though. Uh, why? I, I don't know. But here's the official press release. Uh, today we're proud to announce new versions of the blockbuster detective thriller L.A. Noir. They are scheduled to release on November 14th, 2017 for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Set against the seedy and violent underbelly of the 1940s Los Angeles, L.A. Noir is the story of a decorated veteran and newly minted detective Cole Phelps as he investigates an escalating series of cases inspired by real-world crimes. Each successfully solved case brings Phelps greater success, but also brings him closer to the dark criminal heart of post-war L.A. L.A. Noir for the Nintendo Switch features the complete original game and all additional download content, with specific enhancements including a Joy-Con mode with gyroscopic gesture-based controls, HD rumble, and new wide and over-the-shoulder camera angles, plus contextual touchscreen controls for portable detective work. So, L.A. Noir coming out. Awesome, right? Yeah, it, it kind of is. One, I really, really like L.A. Noir. I think it's almost underrated in Rockstar's library of games because they have such a fantastic history of games uh, with Red Dead Redemption and the Grand Theft Auto series that it's just... It's awesome that we're getting L.A. Noir. I personally own it on PC. I've never actually beaten it, which is why I'm actually looking forward to the Nintendo Switch because I haven't seen how it ends. I got about halfway through, and then other games came out, and I just got distracted, and I never really got back to it. And that doesn't usually ha happen with games that I'm obviously extremely excited for. Uh, L.A. Noir was just kind of one of those games that I actually bought it for the visuals. I I'm just going to be honest with you. Yes, I can be a graphics whore at times. That's just kind of... How it is, I don't own a gaming PC just for video editing. I also enjoy pretty visuals. It's just kind of a thing. But, uh, yeah, L.A. Noir is a very interesting choice. Now, obviously, because it's coming out on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, it does make sense to also release it on Switch. It'd be weird if this was just a Switch port of the game. That would be a little weird to me that they chose L.A. Noir over Grand Theft Auto V because if they were just bringing a game to Switch... I think Grand Theft Auto V makes more sense. It's current. They have a version of it on you know previous generations of consoles, so you easily could run on Switch with enhanced visuals that might not meet Xbox One, PlayStation 4, but it, it can look pretty good and would be a game that's still selling and still relevant. L.A. Noir hasn't been relevant in a long time, but again, because it's coming to the other systems, it makes sense now to bring it to Switch. And it's really interesting that they're giving the Switch very specific attention. I'm not necessarily surprised that they have HD rumble support. I mean, I am because a lot of games don't. They just use basic rumble. But that they're including full gesture controls uh, and that they're adding touchscreen controls. It's almost like they're customizing the game depending on which way you choose to play it. You choose to play it on the go. They want to give you the best on-the-go experience and take advantage of the touchscreen. If you're playing it on your TV, they want to give you the best experience if you're using the split Joy-Cons and give you the gesture controls. They are giving you options. That's the important thing to remember here is options. And these are usually the kind of options that only Nintendo would give. And Nintendo hasn't even done that yet where there's been touch controls when you're uh, on the go, and then, you know, motion controls when you're at home. That that hasn't even been a thing Nintendo's done yet. So kudos to Rockstar for that. And it continues to show that third parties are really starting to buy into the Nintendo Switch. Now, I realize L.A. Noir is an older game. Just like Skyrim, it's not like a game that you would think is, oh, so impossible to run on Switch. And no, it does not show a commitment uh, from Rockstar for you know Red Dead Redemption 2 or any other future games they have coming out. Just like Skyrim doesn't guarantee that future Bethesda games after whatever game, you know, D Dishonored 2 or whatever uh, comes out. It doesn't mean that they are fully, you know, jumping on the Switch bandwagon. Uh, again, just like Skyrim, I think Ellie Noir is another dip in the toe in the water and just seeing if people will buy it. And I think that's actually okay in this case. I do think Grand Theft Auto V would be a better current day measure for that because Alley Noir in the first place wasn't extremely popular. And, you know, you're already taking a game that wasn't extremely popular, bringing it to the Switch. 
is it gonna outsell the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 versions? I don't know. But being able to take that experience on the go is very attractive to me personally because I really did enjoy my time with the game and can't wait to jump in again with all of the DLC and just beat it and have a good time. I mean, the fact that I'm thinking right now, the fact that I can actually have LA, LA Noir footage on our channel that is relevant to the Nintendo Switch in the future is just baffling to me. I, I'm just, I'm happy. If you can't tell, I'm happy. And with all of the negativity that's been going on at Nintendo Prime lately, and that, some of you guys have noticed for like five or six videos in a row, it's kind of been stories that lean towards the negative side where like, you know, Pokemon CEO isn't that excited about the Switch or didn't think it was going to be a success. No, he admits it's a success, but he wants us to temper expectations. And while that, that in itself wasn't negative per se, it's that combined with how enthusiastic he, he was talking about AR and kind of like how Switch was, yeah, Switch exists, I was wrong, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're releasing a Pokemon game on it. It's going to be pretty looking and have facial expressions or something. Um, it's really, uh, he really seemed downtrodden in comparison to talking about AR, augmented reality. But... That's, that's an aside, right? We, we had a lot of negative stories. I'm happy today that I have a positive story for you guys. Even if it's not the Rockstar game, I think they should release. I think Grand Theft Auto V needs to come to Switch, and maybe it will still come to Switch. If LA Noir does decent, we could see Grand Theft Auto V maybe release on Switch early next year because they're going to want to space out those releases. And with Red Dead Redemption 2 being delayed, you know, th 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 there's always a slight chance that it comes to Switch. I personally doubt it. I think if there's any chance of a new Rockstar game coming to Switch, it's going to be whatever comes after, you know, <laughs> after Red Dead Redemption 2, which is probably Grand Theft Auto 6, or, heck, maybe they have L.A. Noir 2 in the works, and this is just, they're, they're throwing this out there to get people thinking about L.A. Noir again, and then next year they announce L.A. Noir 2. I mean, it's not like companies don't do that sometimes. You know, we got Metroid Samus Returns coming out here in a couple weeks, and I hear there's a new Metroid game in the works for Switch. Uh, so, yeah, companies do this all the time. It would, it would this may be a hint at what's coming in the future from Rockstar. And if nothing else, the fact that it's also coming to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 at the same time is just telling me personally that third parties are really starting to buy into the Switch hype, and they're realizing it's not just Nintendo games selling well, right? There are third-party games that are already performing well, and we don't even have that many big third-party games out. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And, yeah, that's really all I have to say this week. Now, if you like the sweatshirt I'm wearing, this is Nintendo Prime official sweatshirt, you can find a link down in the description below to get yourself one. I don't have any discount codes for you this time, but, you know, in the future, if we happen to have a sale on the shop, I'll let you know. I, uh, You know, in fact, I'll put a general link down to the shop itself as well, where you can get t-shirts and mugs and, you know, notebooks and all sorts of things. Baby clothes, even, if you want. If you want some, for some reason, you care to put your baby in my branding. I, I, I don't know why you do that. I, it's something I would do, but w whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffeljance from Nintendo Prime. I'm excited to bring you this news today, and if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you dislike the video, that's all right. Hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content like this. And as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.